I am listening. Perhaps so. Now this here is White Thistle. Can give you the runs, you know. And I made up a song for it, uh, quite a catchy tune. White thistle, white thistle, all in a row. In never winter woods, they all grow. Oh, well met. Sorry, didn't even see you standing there. Thought you might be a Wendersnaven at first, but I can see you. <laughs> so I guess that discounts that. Wendersnaven? It doesn't roll off the tongue too easily, so don't worry. Don't say it too loudly if you're not sure, though. They may take offense. Uh, all right. Thought I might camp out here a bit. Play a tune or three. See if I could catch their attention. No luck, though. But luck's what you make it. So I've been working hard. Oh, but I haven't even introduced myself. I'm Grobda Gnome Hands. Probably guessing where that last name comes from, don't you? Well, tends to confuse most people. Quite a collector and maker and teller of tales I am. All the gnome hands are, except the ones they hanged in Luskin. Working on quite a tale myself, you know, and the act of composing, it is a tale in itself. Oh, yes! You see, it all starts with the tune. Say, about that bush, or that root, or that cloud, or that boot. And then, after I had welded the spring-mounted mechanical shield on my codpiece, I fired it. Only to be thrown back almost 30 yards right into a wall. Stung quite a bit. I'll say that much, but what I learned was, was... I say, all that discussion has really built up a hunger. Lost all track of time. Oh, you were listening so intently you closed your eyes and laid down for a bit. Made some funny laughing noises at the right times too. Almost thought you were snoring. No trouble, don't blame you. I barely notice the world around me once I conjure up a story. So if closing your eyes helps you concentrate, by all means. I knew this mage once who... No, it's a little hard to explain. But I can show you if you want. Excellent! Oh, you won't regret this. I mean, too many times. Oh, yes. Perhaps so. Yes. I want those walls up by evening, no excuses. The orcs aren't going to stop attacking just because we need to catch our breath. But sir, the men are having a hard time finding the materials we need. You're telling me they can't find any stones? We're in the middle of the blasted mountains. Unless you'd like to report to Nasher that we're overrun because we couldn't find rocks. 
I suggest you drive some sense into your men and get that wall built. Yes, sir. I'll see to it, sir. I tell you, I've lost years off my life trying to get this rabble fit for service. And who are you supposed to be? Reinforcements? If one can lead such a disorganized rabble, then yes. Usually I just point them in the direction of the enemy and hope they stab the right person. I'm Colum. Commander Colum to you. Lord Nasha sent me here to secure the old Owl Well. So what are you doing here? Isani? He hasn't arrived yet. Should have been here a ten day ago. I've sent a scout to look for him. Wait, you're the one from the City Watch, aren't you? I got word yesterday you'd be making a visit. I'd hoped to have better news for you. No, my scout hasn't reported back yet. Though I expect him soon. He's one of the best. We're still not sure ourselves, really. The information I have is vague, at best. This route makes the best sense, though. It's one of the few they haven't tried yet. Not exactly a student of history, are you? The Old Owl Well is the only known water source for three days in any direction. Neverwinter and the Orcs have been fighting over it as long as anyone can remember. The Orcs held it for the last ten years until the Council decided they wanted to reopen the trade route to Yarta. To do that, we need to take back this watering hole. This assault has been planned for months. We weren't able to warn Asani ahead of time, though. We weren't expecting to be needing a new emissary, to be honest. Still, at least we'll be here all for more protection. Well, that brings us back to the emissary, doesn't it? If the Lord's Alliance could communicate, you're right. We'd have more men. But with the emissaries being lost, even so, we've stretched the army thin as it is. I brought along every man that Lord Nasha could spare. The Council's going to have to raise a new army in a hurry if things don't work out here. Marshal Cormac still has a talent for recruiting good people, I see. Duty first, eh? I'll expect you to help out with the defense of this camp. You've already brought your own gear, so just find a spot to call home and stay alert. Sound the alarm! Orcs! The orcs are attacking! Wouldn't you know it, not a moment's rest. Great cloaks to arms! For Neverwinter! Alright, Grey Cloaks. Everyone back to your posts. Another Orc raiding party. We're lucky they haven't attacked in full force. Just wish I could make contact with whoever it is that's been distracting the Orcs. Yes, someone's out there attacking Orc patrols, and it's giving us a chance to build up our defenses. I've been at this long enough to know that you need to control a battlefield, and this new ally of ours is something I can't control. He's not one for talking. Every time I send someone out to contact him, he and his men move their camp. The Orcs have a name for him, Katalmak. They say he attacks without warning, and without regard for his enemy's numbers. Someone who doesn't play the odds doesn't last too long in my experience. Well, except me. That's not a name Orcs give lightly. It's a name they give to warriors who lose themselves in battle. Maybe this Kettlehead person simply lacks basic math skills. You see, if we were to face 300 orcs, the odds, well, if you carry the two, uh, might be... Sounds like someone wants to die to me. If we weren't here, it'd only be a matter of time before all the tribes in the whale hunted down this Katalmach. And then his crusade would be over. Well, enough talk about him. I've got my hands full just keeping the men in fighting shape. Commander! Scout's returning! Let's hope he brings word on the emissary, eh? Pathfinder Willem reporting, sir. Willem, did you locate Emissary Asani? No, sir, but I came across his escorts. Killed to the last man, but no sign of the emissary. Orcs, sir. They must have taken him. Sounds like you've got a new assignment. Your job is to escort the emissary to safety. If he's in trouble, you've got to help him. I'd start looking at Yai Sog Bone Nash's lair, northeast of here. Bone Nashers? They're still around. Oh, they're hard to kill. Sounds like a well-mannered fellow. 
judging from the name. My, Bone Nasher is an interesting name. I wonder what he would have done to earn it. His tribe isn't the biggest, but he's older and more cunning than most. At the least, he may have an idea who attacked the Emissary's guards. The Eye Gouger tribe is the strongest, led by Logram Eye Gouger. He keeps the other tribes in line, including the Bone Nashers, and he's the one leading the attacks. All the orcs in the well fall under his banner. Ooh, if we could get lucky and put an arrow through his skull. If we could, the orcs would turn on each other in a heartbeat and give us enough time to strengthen our position here. Trust me, if I knew where Logram could be found, I'd hit him myself. Killing him would be the break we've been looking for. But from what I've heard, there's been reports that this unknown ally of ours, this Katalmach, is hitting Logram hard, which means he must know where Logram can be found. But since I can't find this unknown ally of ours, Logram's out of our reach as well. For right now, focus on Yaisag Bone Nasher. See what you can do to find the emissary. Besides, if you cross Logram, that might be more than you can handle. Your mission was to do whatever it took to get the Emissary to Neverwinter safely. Sounds to me like this is part of it. I'll have Willem mark the Bone Nasher lair on your map. You'd better act quickly. If the Orcs have the Emissary, whatever they have planned for him cannot be good. If you need anything, we've got Simi here in camp to help you. She normally trades in trinkets for the men, but carries some items more suited for combat as well. Wish I could spare someone, but I need to keep my men together so they can learn how to act as one. Besides, they'd only slow you down. We'll hold down the fort. The more orcs we kill here, the fewer you'll run into out in the mountains. Good luck to you. And if you run into that madman who's attacking the orcs out there, let him know I'd like to have a little chat with him. Oh, yes. Perhaps so. You're a strange band to be wandering these mountains. Kalmar? I could say the same. What are you doing here, far from Iron Fist lands? Not as far as you'd think, Kelgar. Though I doubt we are here for the same reasons. This here's Kalmar, one of the best scouts of the Iron Fist clan and good in a fight. Neither one, of course, explains what he's doing here, though. It's clan business, not for outsiders. Ah, but Kalmar, 
These are friends. Well, most of them anyways. Whose blood is that on your armor? Orc? We are scouting out the old Iron Fist clan hold in these mountains, seeing if it can be reopened or retaken. There are bugbears blocking the way, but they will not do so for long. Bugbears? Then what are we waiting for? Let's bury them! It's nothing we can't handle, Kelgar. No need to shed the blood of non-clan, and this is an Iron Fist matter. Nonsense! These all are spoiling for a fight. What say you all? You all want to give the vultures some bugbear corpses to feast on? You know, old dwarven halls tend to have lots of gold and gems, just lying around for the taking. Maybe so, but nothing your thieving hands will see, fiendling. Why does one even need to ask? It sounds like a tale waiting to happen. Think of it. Grabna gnome hands and the liberation of the Iron Fist clan and all its engineering marvels. A tale for any tavern for every man, woman, and child. Who is this gnome? He's Arrowbait. I'll tell you about it later. We are grateful for the gesture. But such false courtesies are wasted on us. Kelgar, stay with your new band. We neither asked for your help nor require it. This is Iron Fist Clan business. Uh, I'm Iron Fist Clan. Your fight is my fight. Those were not the words you used when you left so long ago to pursue this mad idea of yours. You seek to learn how to fight, but you have cast aside the why of it. Clan honor. Duty. These are things you have forgotten the value of. If you wish to help, then know that the door is sealed to the clan hold. And if you can recount the legend of King Lodrum, then you will know how to open it. I think that part of our history is fresh enough in your mind. Whether you return or not, it does not matter to me, and it does not matter to the clan. All right, then. Let's get to the clan hall door. Hopefully there's something beyond it that needs to be taught a lesson in battle. If you truly want to help us, then come back to us when you have done something of note. Not words, Kelgar. Until then, we have little more to say. So. How can I help? Oh! <laughs> 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 
One of my brothers. Struck down by bugbears. If Kalmar is right, we Iron Fists can't afford to lose any more of our clan. If I had been leading this expedition, we wouldn't have been caught by surprise by the bugbears. I can promise you that. There is that. I'll not let my people down. He died in battle. I dishonor his memory with all this hand wringing. Look, another dwarf. The bait we set has drawn more, as we hoped. You'll all pay for his death, for Iron Fist! I'm listening. 
listening. How can I help? listening.
enemies are near.
will regret. I think we hell's hell's hell's. Was that all right? <laughs> Doesn't look like anything dwarves would have created. Too complicated. If it's a lock, it's the most complicated lock I've ever seen. Just a guess, but I think it opens the door. Doesn't look like it works, though. Could be. Here, let me see if I can figure out where it goes. If this does open that door, it better be protecting something valuable. We are not here to loot my clan hold, demon. Right. We'll worry about the treasure after we get the door open. There. I think I figured out where that part went. Okay, stand back while I start it. Both walk away from this.
Yes. Perhaps so. This should be interesting. Let's just sit this one out and see what happens. What was that? Shh! Nobody move! Mm. Thought I heard something. It was nothing, Paztac. You're trying to distract us from the gold. Come on, let's get to cover. Quietly. We already agreed, Paztac. We split the gold evenly. I killed the most. I should get most of the gold. We only killed two of the dwarves, Pastak. And you killed one. So I share most of the gold with Morgum. Then if I kill you, I'll take your share. Do it. We don't need Pastak. <laughs> now, Pastak's share is mine. <laughs> We split the gold evenly. Walk away from this. Both walk away from this. Hells, hells, hells. Was that all right? I think we've had enough of this one. I told you, go!
I am listening. Stay close and step where I step. I am listening. Hmm. 
If you have not entered the clan hold, then you have no business with us. <sighs> the rock in this region has always proven difficult to carve, and it's not one for keeping its shape without a good hammer disciplining it. We'll have to find another way then. There's other entrances we might be able to uncover. But we found something else. Look at this, Kalmar. What do you see? It's a pair of gauntlets, Kelgar. Well crafted, to be sure. And they have the mark of by Clan Geddin's hammer. Are my eyes blinded? Are those the gauntlets of Iron Fist? The same. Who knows what other treasures are buried deep in the clan hold, Kalmar? But if we found these after a quick search, well, who knows? Even the rest of it might be down there. You found a relic, Kelgar. Part of our history. I didn't do it. You have my friend here to thank. And we never would have known this place to be here if you hadn't been here before us, Kalmar. And the gauntlets, well, they should rest with the clan, I think. No, Kelgar. If you two found them, then they were meant to be held by you both, for a time. When your journey is done, perhaps you shall return them to us. Are you good to keep traveling these mountains? If you like, I could- Our wounds have healed. And you've already given us enough aid. Perhaps we were too quick to judge your allies, Kelgar. The Iron Fist clan is in your debt. This I swear to you in stone and steel. Such a debt shall not be forgotten in the days to come. And Kelgar, if your path lies with this one, so be it. But the clan shall await your return. It shall not be long, I think, Kalmar. But someone needs to watch out for this little one, or else he'll be lying in a grave. Very well, Kelgar. May stone shield you from the sky, and ale be always at your hand. But not too much ale. You know how you get after the twelfth tankard. Well, that was a chance encounter. And a chance to do some good, I think. The Iron Fists have had rough times these past few years. So, are we ready to crack some more skulls? Yeah? How can I help? Stay close. And step where I step. Everyone, follow me! 
Perhaps so. Yeah? Hmm. What? I am listening. Hmm. What? My Lord Garius grows impatient with your progress, Logram. I am Lord here of the mountains, human, not your master. Orcs rule the well, and none can stand against us. Except the Grey Cloaks, peasant recruits who are more than a match for you. We have given you weapons, yet you seem to lack the strength to use them. We captured your emissary. We have given your dark priests all the dead they have asked for. My war chief Yaisong here is gathering the tribes for a new attack against these humans. Even as we waste time here listening to you. This weak Grey Cloak tribe will fall, Logrum, without help from Garius or his accursed priests of shadow. If you fail, Logrum, then Garius will need further sacrifices. And the next corpse given to the shadow priests will be yours. You threaten me? Here, in Orcish lands? I fear not your Lord Garius nor your dark priests. That is good, because Garius has sent more here to watch over you. And unless you drive the Grey Cloaks from Old Hourwell, then they will carry out the orders that you cannot. Thank <laughs> you. 
We'll have to find another way around. It would take a dwarven engineering team a, a week to clear away this rock slide. This rock slide looks like it happened not too long ago. The rocks are still loose. There's not much dirt path between them. From what I've heard, avalanches in Old Owl Well are not uncommon. Especially with orcish warhorns blasting through the canyons. I think we should find another way around. There's no way we could remove these rocks by ourselves. Of course. Mario, I love you. 